Hello everyone, jfolk1886 here, and I just wanted to show anyone who might be wondering this how to turn off the 4G on a Droid Razor or Razor Max that is updated to Ice Cream Sandwich. Now, before the update to Ice Cream Sandwich, we had control over our phone's mobile network, and if we wanted 4G, then we could have it enabled. And if we lived in an area without or spotty 4G, then we could disable it. Well, they took that power away from us with Ice Cream Sandwich. So I was really frustrated until I found this trick. Here we will go into our mobile network settings just to show you um, the, uh, the settings and our options. Mobile networks, uh, preferred network. Right now it's an LTE uh, CDMA. Um, there's the global mode for uh, if you're traveling internationally. Uh, right now, LTE and CDMA, and then GSM UMTS. Um, obviously, this doesn't uh, let us turn off uh, LTE or 4G, so the phone will either be in 4G or uh, always be searching for it. And if you're in an area that doesn't have 4G or spotty 4G, then it's going to uh, hurt your battery. So the trick goes something like this. Um, go to your dialer and type in pound pound program. So P R O G R A M. So pound pound seven seven six four seven two six. Now hit dial. Now it's going to ask for your SPC password. The password, you click up here to bring up the dial pad, is six zeros. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now hit verify. Now it's going to bring up this programming menu. Um, we're going to go down to number six, which is test mode. Click on test mode. Now go to the bottom and just click next two times. And now you should see network mode. LTE, CDMA, and EVDO. That's what the standard setting is. Now click on that and it brings up a whole different bunch of options here. CDMA and EVDO, CDMA only, EVDO only. Um, this one must basically be the global. Uh, LTE only. Um, uh, this The regular LTE, CDMA, EVDO. And then this must be global with LTE also. Um, but basically to make it so you have just a regular 3G phone you want to click on CDMA and EVDO. So see it has changed to CDMA and EVDO. Now that's it. You're done. Um, do not click back because if you do most likely your it'll restart the phone not because it's a glitch but because it's what the it's designed to do you can hit back and it may or may not restart on you I haven't really figured out exactly when and why it does it um, but all I do once I'm done next just loop starts looping through the menus again uh, just hit home and that's it so now I didn't I don't have 4G regularly up where I live um, which is the whole reason why I wanted to find this find out how to do this and I did um, but now I am locked on 3G and to prove it we will go to settings more mobile networks and now it will show CDMA only even though it's not an option in this menu you can see none of the buttons are selected now if you want to turn your 4G back on you can either go through the dialer like like we just did or you can just come back to the settings here and click on LTE CDMA and you'll be back to normal. So we'll turn on 4G again. So now, now we're back to 4G enabled. Um, now what I did to make things easier, I actually made a contact called program, like in my contacts list, and it's that pound pound program and I saved it as a contact with the name program and then this is just a quick dialer uh, a widget if you yeah a widget um, so now I can just click on that instead of dialing it and then it brings me straight to this 
So it's a little quick, quick and dirty way to do it if you want. One, two, three, four, five, six. Verify. Test mode. Next. Next. There we are back to CDMA, EVDO, and LTE. Turn off 4G. Now we are on CDMA and EVDO. Now I'll try hitting back to see if it restarts the phone. Yep, right there. Phone will restart now. Now these settings will save after you restart the phone and they will stay saved until you change them. Um, so anyways, um, you know, I hope hope you guys found this helpful and, uh, and you know, for anybody who was as frustrated as I was when I updated Ice Cream Sandwich and found out I couldn't turn off the 4G and wanted to save some battery. Uh, if you like this video, please click the like button, and if there is another subject that you have a question about, please leave a comment, and I'll try to answer it for you. Again, this has been How to Turn Off 4G on an Ice Cream Sandwich Razor. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.